In this one we're going to have a look at how we can filter and order the data which we get back from our API. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to add some filters to my product resource or my product entity depending on how you want to refer to it. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. And the way that it happens is we need to add something called an API filter. So just after where I've got API resource here on the product, I'm now going to add another one called API filter. So you'll see I'm getting a bit of auto completion. If you're not getting that with uh, whatever tool you use, then what you need is this one here. So it comes from API platform core annotation API filter and there's loads of different types of filters. The search filters, date filters, Boolean filters, number filters, range filters. Uh, I'll, show, I'll point you in the right direction in the documents after this. But for now, we're just going to start off with, I shall say, a simple search filter. But that won't be giving it credit because it's actually um, really smart. So what we do is this. We say search filter uh, class. And we're just going to have a look at some of the properties and see which one would be a good one to search on. So name will be a good one. So after we've said, OK, we want to use a search filter. So it's comma and then we create an array. So properties is the named argument that I'm using. And then uh, this will be an array. And so we're going to say name and then we have to choose the strategy. So do we want to match the name exactly? I don't think that would be great. I think what we'll do is we'll do a partial uh, match. And so, again, I can get this from search filter. And as you can see, I get a bunch of um, options here which um, come up. So we've got strategy, exact, partial, and so that's the one that we're going to use. But just to show you what the other ones are, uh, strategy end, as in does the phrase end with this, strategy start, does the um, phrase start with this, Okay, so but we're going to go with strategy partial and if I just click on this and jump to it All it is is just a string saying partial Okay, let's go and test this out. So we'll go over to postman and what I'm going to do here is just say name And so as you can see, I've entered the query parameters in this little uh, box, which is quite handy that Postman provides. But uh, if you're using something like curl or whatever and you don't have this box, then all you need to do is just after where we are going for our products here, you just say name equals eyedrop. So it's just query parameters. That's all we're doing. We're just adding query parameters to the end of our URL. Let's send this off. Okay, and so we get one result back. I'll just make a little bit of room. And that is our product, which is called eyedrops. And if you want to filter on more fields, all you do is you just simply add more. So let's also add description. So after there, I'll put comma, description. And again, we'll use the same strategy. So search filter, uh, strategy partial. And let's go and try this one out. So in my params, I'm going to say, Description, skate. Okay, and we get our rocket powered roller skates back. And so you can actually combine them. So here we can say description equals skate and name equals rocket. So I'll send this again. Um, because in the name we have rocket powered roller skates, so we still get that back. And so obviously, or not so obviously, it will do this from left to right. So it will filter on this first and it will get a data set and then it will filter that data set next. Okay, so let me show you something else. Because we have relate our product is related to manufacturers, we can actually do a search uh, using that relationship. So let's go back over to our product and here, what I'm going to do is say manufacturer because that is what we called the relationship. Let's just go and remind ourselves. So here we have a property called manufacturer. Let's actually go and look at our manufacturer and see what will be a good candidate. OK, so we have name, description, country code. So I think that will be good. We can filter on country code. So the way you do this is just use the uh, dot syntax. So manufacturer and then country 
code and here we're going to say exact so search filter exact let's go over to postman So manufacturer country code and we'll just go with UK. So now we should only get products which are made by a UK manufacturer. So that's pretty cool. Send this off. Okay, and so we get soap which is made by manufacturer 3 and then we get uh, spiced rum which is made by manufacturer number 5. Let's go and look at manufacturers number 3 and 5 just to make sure they are UK. So manufacturer 3 is Unilever UK. And manufacturer 5 is Diageo, which is also UK. Another type of filter that I'll show you, which is quite common, is an order filter. So what we need to do is underneath uh, the API filter, which we just created, we need to create another filter. So very important that you know that we are actually creating a different filter and not just adding a different sort of type of filter. We need to actually create another filter if you're going to use a different type. So API filter... And then this time it will be an order filter. So order filter class. And again, we say properties. And what we're going to order on, I think, will be some kind of date. So the date we said here was issue date. So that's what we're going to filter on for this one. And that's all you need to do. You just need to specify the property and then we'll add our ascending or descending when we go and add it to the query parameters. So let's go and give that a go now. So back over in Postman, the way that we do this is we say order and then in uh, square brackets, we say the field, which will be issue date. And then here, we just need to say whether we want this to be ascending or descending. So we're going to say descending, which means it will get us the latest issued products down to the oldest issued products. Let's send this off. Okay, so here is our result set. And as you can see, uh, this top one here, 2022, and then this one is 2010 and 20, uh, 2003, 1999. So as you can see, it's ordered all our products by issue date in descending order. That is really just scratching the surface on filters. If you want to know more, if I've not shown you something which you'd like to do, then just come and check out uh, the filters in the API platform documentation. As you can see, there's absolutely loads of stuff that you can do here. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to achieve what you want to achieve. You just might have to dive into this stuff. So uh, we've got search filters, date filters, booleans, numeric range filters, exist filter, all kinds of stuff. You can do stuff with elastic search absolutely tons of filters and tons of options really well thought out and you can even create your own filters because like i say under the hood it's just using doctrine orm so any of the stuff that you can do with that you can actually go ahead create your own filters as well so hope you've enjoyed that one i think what we'll do now is we'll move on and we'll have a look at pagination if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. Each week I release a number of new recordings. If you'd like to be informed about my upcoming videos as well as receive exclusive content, discounts and early access to my new videos, you can join my mailing list by following the link underneath this video.